Los Angeles with Max Orisco. Um, I met him at the body computing event on Friday at lunchtime and um, I know he's doing some interesting work in VR um, and um, an interesting group in terms of the population here in LA so I wanted to just catch up and, and interview him on, in this video um, in terms of what he's doing and share it with you. Um, I think you'll find it useful. Um, yeah, behind you we just had some uh, very interesting. This is Mexican food that we just had yep, today, right? Yep, so that was, it was uh, really delicious. Anyway, so back to VR and what Max is doing. So Max, uh, who mm -hmm. are you? What are you up to at the moment? Uh, sure. So I'm the co-founder of Lumium VR, and we bring virtual reality hardware and content to people that are limited mobility. So people in hospital settings, um, facilities with. Uh, <laughs> assisted living or independent living um, and so people that really um, can't go out to the beach we kind of bring the beach to them okay wonderful and so uh, what what was the moment that triggered you to do this to start this journey well I think it really stemmed from my enjoyment of gaming and so I started messing around with the DK2 from oculus <laughs> and um, playing in these awesome immersive experiences. Um, and then I really thought about how everyone's focusing on a really niche market or entertainment and gaming and, and they hadn't thought about something other than that. And so I started thinking about, you know, what, who needs this technology and what applications can you apply this gaming to that can actually benefit someone's life. And so uh, me and my partner were thinking that someone that can't, yeah, can't go and can't travel may not have a have a diminished thought of agency you know of like how can I affect and manipulate my own life when I'm trapped inside a hotel a hotel or hospital room or my own apartment and so we're bringing them the opportunity to go out and experience the world again, do something that they used to enjoy or Excellent. see part of the world. And, and what are you uh, what are you looking to do next? Do you have, uh, you know, your, the work that you're doing at the moment, the mm -hmm. people that are using your uh, content and the application, is, are they just in Los Angeles? At the moment, we're, yeah. okay. we're all Southern California. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I mean, what are you, what do you want to do next? What's your, what's the next phase of development of your... The next phase of development is really making it user-friendly, I think. Uh, I think seniors have a, a, a big a disconnect with a lot of technology where the user interface isn't really designed for uh, their skill sets or uh, as intuitive as it can be. I mean, be. because when you, even when you look at the, the, the smartphone-based headsets or even cardboard, mm -hmm. uh, even I see people familiar with tech and I give them cardboard and a smart, uh, an Android phone and even they have issues sometimes with, right. you know, learning how to use it. So you can imagine with people who are older, and especially if they've got maybe some memory loss issues or confusion, and where because you hope that VR might be useful for them, then there's big challenge. So there's the, the big problem is then, or, or the opportunity is to make these VR headsets, the, you know, make it just far easier to use them today. Mm -hmm. And then curate the content to their individual desires. So one of our users was a, a surfer from Orange County, and he, he can't surf anymore, but we queued up some amazing videos of a guy riding a tube. Oh, cool. And so he's able to relive this experience that he hasn't been able to for the last 30 years. And so if we can create an environment where someone can really cater that experience to their own desires and their own previous um, previous lifestyle, then it's even more powerful for that individual. Excellent. Yeah. And, um, what, what are you looking for in terms of to help you move forwards? Are you looking for people to, uh, uh, some researchers to work on validating the work that you're doing from a scientific perspective? Are you looking for investors? Are you looking for people to partner with, whether it's institutions or individuals? Uh, yeah, I think we need to test it out and see a broader range of individuals and how it can, how it can uh, relay value into their lives so a little different as far as um, like patient populations and whether what, what kinds of disorders or would actually benefit from them obviously pairing with researchers and, and physicians and seeing what kind of areas we can actually find concrete benefits for them um, as well as you know um, hardware creators I think um, 
a lot of the headsets are kind of heavy for a lot of seniors, and so thinking of the ways that those products can be used for other okay. different different people. Okay, so if there's somebody who makes VR headsets watching then, uh, you know, that would be a useful connection and conversation yeah. to have. And also our seniors are, are loving it. They eat up the content really fast. So okay. if there's any content creators out there that are interested in licensing, okay. you know, we'd like Excellent. to license it. So then, Max, how, if people are watching the video and they're saying, okay, this is really interesting, how would they get in touch with you? Is there a website for the work that you're yeah. doing? Or? Yeah, it's lumium.com. How you can do you email. spell that? L-U-M-E-U-M. Okay. Luminous, but Lumium. Okay. And uh, my email is max at lumium.com. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Thanks so much for the opportunity. No, thank you, Max. Cheers. Bye Cheers. for now.